Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our culture series. Today, Shamsia and I are talking about family. Hello, Shamsia. Could you please tell us what place does family take in the life of a person? Family, we take it very serious. In the West, as soon as someone turns 18, they can move out. It's recommended to move out of their parents' house and find their own fit and be, become independent. Whereas the Afghan culture, doesn't matter if you're a boy or a girl, you have to stay with your parents until you're married off. If you're a female and you're married, you go to your husband's house. But if you're a man, if you're a son and you're married, you can stay with your parents' house because you have to look after your parents. Just like our parents don't abandon us at a younger age or throw us out of the house, we don't do that when they get old. It's a very disrespect for us to put our parents into retired house or aged care. It's like you're sort of abandoning your parents who took care of you when you were dependent on them. In some ways, I support the Western culture who gives their children more time to be independent, more time to find their feet and become their own men. Obviously, there's pros and cons in both sides. Like I know a few friends of mine who don't have much to pay for rent or find a decent place to stay, but they are out of their house. They don't feel safe in the place that they live. And when it comes to those things, I'm just, I'm really glad that I am part of the Afghan culture and that I'm not being thrown out. But in saying that, I know a lot of people who are very independent. They're very good at managing money. They're very good at being on time. They're very good at being accountable and responsible for their lives and for themselves. So yeah, there's a saying that goes, blood is thicker than water. That's very serious in our culture. Great. So the bonds are very important between people. How yep. big are families normally? Majority of Afghan families, particularly if the kids are around my age or older, we tend to be in a more crowded family. So I've got four sisters and a brother. So my parents have five daughters and one son. All of us live together except my older sister who lives with her husband and her um, son. I don't know how they handle it, but that's another topic. <laughs> so that's a lot for a Western culture. But for Afghan family, that's very, very normal to have that amount of family members. Once we're married, that's when we move out. But now, obviously, we live in the West and it's not like back home where we just get married and stop our studies or no longer work. Obviously, we'll have jobs. Our parents are very understanding. So if we find jobs that are far away from where we live, where our parents live, then they permit us to find an accommodation closest to our workplace instead of taking the travel back and forth. But obviously saying that we have to keep in touch. I am 23 years old and my mom, she worries about me as if I'm five. She calls me, she goes, where are you? Are you, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, mom, I'm fine. Like, I, I got everything under control. Don't be scared, I'm okay. <laughs> At which age people normally get married? Depending on the different tribes in Afghanistan, depending on which area they're living in Afghanistan. But nowadays, people get married from the age of 18 and above. Because Islamically, we're not allowed to be in a, what we call in a haram relationship. So that's why if we find someone, then we get to know each other. Obviously, it's not like we are going on a blind dating or blind marriage. That happened a lot back in the days. People would only find out about each other on the night of the marriage. That would be pretty scary. But now people <laughs> have more luck to decide who to marry. Yeah. It's not like parents should. Yeah. There used only... to be a lot of arranged marriages, but now the term of arranged marriage has changed. Someone comes to your house and asks for your hand, for your daughter's hand, for example, and you're pretty happy with them. You're pretty happy with the family and the guy. And you say, Okay, we agree, but you have to talk to the daughter at the end of the day. It's her life. Nowadays, when they get married, they get to know each other. They find out things, what they like, what they dislike, what are their goals. And they, they sit there and they communicate. Obviously, both families would be aware of this. They would approve it. And then if they think they, they can get along, then they will make the move. Thanks a lot. That was very interesting. I will see you again in the next video.